Okay. Hello, guys. Good evening. Uh, this is Mauricio Edgardo Martinez, and I have the opportunity uh, to be your professor this time. The, I am going to teach you uh, all about the writing process. And so, and, and so now, uh, welcome to this composition class. Let's move to the agenda. Well, um, for this class, uh, we will learn how to choose a narrow a topic and how to gather ideas and how to do a free writing and do a prof reading. And so at the end of the class, we will play Kahoot. So the first topic uh, for this class is what is free writing? Well, the definition say, before you being a uh, writing, you decide what you are going to write about. Then you plan what you are going to write. This process is called pre-writing. And so uh, this technique uh, is going to help you uh, because we use writing for everything what we want to do. And so, but uh, before to pre-writing, we must think about one idea that we are going to develop or paragraph. And so choosing a narrow a topic. How to choose a topic. So uh, here we have two options. The first option says, choose a topic that is no around, limit or brief. A, a narrow topic a narrow topic will not have enough ideas to write about it. And so that's the point because uh, you know, are going to choose a topic that you can know very well, the, a topic that you don't like it because you don't have a lot of information to put in your essay. One example could be, the ages of my brother and sister is too narrow. You can you cannot write very much about it because uh, you can say, my sister has 30 years old. Uh, my brother has uh, 28 years old. So you don't have uh, a lot of ideas to put here uh, because a paragraph is a group of five to 10 sentences that will give you information about the topic before you write. In the second option, uh, we have choose a topic that is not a broad general. A broad topic, we have too many ideas for just one paragraph. Most paragraphs are five to 10 to long. Okay, so that means that it's not necessary to choose a general topic. For example, if we talk about the school, uh, if we think about the school, uh, we had a lot of information, but uh, you can create a subtopic that will help you to write a paragraph. For example, let's talk about the school, but the school in our country, or maybe how was my life in the old school? And what school are, are popular in the, in the Salvador? Or maybe uh, you can write about the, the high school. How was your life? How was your friends? All the subjects, is, it will be easy for you. And so that's the reason that you must not use a general topic. Let's so now continue. Here we have some examples about what we can write. The first is holidays. What we can say about the holidays? Uh, well, and the holidays, uh, you can write about uh, what are the holidays that you like, and for example, you can you can write about the Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, 
on that day. And also you can write about friends or someone that is important to you that you can describe this person and talk about this person. In my country, my country, as I mentioned before, is a topic to general. And you can think about the bright, um, uh, why the, the local people uh, like to travel around it. Or maybe uh, why the visitors prefer to visit our country. And so the next example, we have cars. Uh, you can choose a topic talking about the cars that you like, who is the model, uh, the series, or the motorcycle, wherever you want. And also in the environment. And finally, we had movie, series, and notebooks. And so now uh, I will give you the opportunity to tell me about what would you like to buy. Okay, let's start with Robles Villanueva. Uh, can you tell me about what would you like to buy? Yes, I would like to write about my country. Okay, well. This is a good topic for, for your country because you can find a lot of ideas related to our country. And so, uh, Magali, do you have any idea about what would you like to write? Uh, Rosaline, are you here with us? Yes, I'm sorry. Um, I like to write about movies and series. Okay, well, um, and you, Leticia? Hello, good evening. Yes, I would like to write about some adventure if I travel to another country. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, as you can see, all of all of your clients have different ideas about what they want to bring. And so let's move. Before you have an idea about what you are going to bring, the topic that had you choose before, you can start thinking about how to do the brainstorm. This definition say. Brainstorm is a way of gathering ideas about a topic. Don't worry now about whatever the ideas are good or silly, useful or not. You can decide later. Later. Right now, uh, you are gathering as many ideas as you can. And so uh, it must mean when you think on a topic that, is, that I would like to break, uh, you must have an idea about what you are going um, to put in your issue, about your ideas, your details, uh, because the most important of this is you are going to defend your ideas. All of this is based in ideas. I have referred a lot of time. Okay, well, as uh, you can see in the, in the image, uh, you can start thinking about your topic, and all the ideas that you have in your knowledge uh, will help you to complete the brainstorm. And so uh, I would like to have a volunteer that can tell me uh, what ideas have about the topic that has choose. I had one. Me, can I? Yes, tell me. Uh, about my topic, we can say what is easy to see or watch a movie and to read a book can be an idea, for example. I don't know if it's correct or not. Yeah, it, this is correct because, uh, as I mentioned before, your ideas are good or easily useful or not. You can decide later because you are writing 
uh, wherever that comes to your mind. And so I have another volunteer. Yes, but uh, can you explain more, please? About what? Uh, about what are you are going? What is the activity here? <laughs> I was uh, the, the little activity is on your screen. Uh, it says, can you tell me what brainstorm ideas you have about your chosen topic? Well, um, I think uh, if I choose, for example, travel, I can choose about, I can think about the water, about the, the transport, uh, the communication as well. I think all these kind of ideas can be support for my writing. Yes, totally agree. All two ideas are too necessary to do on a brainstorm. Um, you, Robles Villanueva, do you have uh, any ideas about your topic? Yes, right. What it comes to my mind is um, about my country. The brain doing brainstorming is I think about culture, the way how people talk, and uh, myth, citizen, currency, and the face the face of Islam of people. Yes, that's true. All of you uh, had mentioned uh, what is a brainstorm perfectly because uh, it's all the ideas that you have about your topic. So let's move. In the next topic, uh, we had free writing. So what is free writing? When you free write, you write wherever that comes in to your head about your topic without stopping. Okay, free writing helps you practice fluency, writing quickly and easily. When you write, you do you don't need to need a worry about your accuracy. Having a correct grammar or spelling, in this case, this doesn't matter. Uh, don't check your dictionary when when you free write. Don't stop if you make a mistake, just keep writing. And so in this example, in this example that you have here, uh, you can see a free writing. Uh, the people or the person that was doing this uh, was thinking about all the ideas that, that he brought or she brought. Okay, well, and also there are some ideas that, um, they want to delay or other ideas that are good that is in this paragraph. All of this is mixed. And finally, for the last topic, we had proofreading. Uh, proofreading is the final stage of the writing process when the paper is evaluated for mechanical correctness, such as a grammar, punctuation, spelling, omitted words, repeated words, spacing, and format. And finally, typographical errors. As you can see uh, in this paragraph, uh, is checking by a professional person that is going to tell you what had you do uh, well and what had you do bad. And we'll be correcting your mistake as, as I mentioned, punctuation, spelling, and omitting such words that are not necessary, and maybe the ideas that are not clear for this paragraph. Okay, before to move on, uh, I have any question or doubt? Yes, 
No. For me, no, teacher. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Also, no, um, and now I am going to look for a document. So give me one second. Okay, here we are. The topic that I choose here is, it is better to read books on electronic device than the physical books. And also uh, we had all the elements and the stages that as I mentioned before. And you have an, a brainstorm, uh, to write all the ideas uh, that comes to our mind when you think about this topic about what you are going to write. In this case, in my brainstorm, I have six ideas. But uh, remembering uh, the definition that say, sometimes some ideas are, are not necessary to put in your essay because uh, some ideas are good, others not. So in this case, the idea that I had put here is idea number three, easy to carry than anywhere and avoid carrying or losing them. And also uh, before and after this idea, um, I had to write the sentences in my own ideas that I, I had put poor defend the idea from my brainstorm. And so I have others that say, you can find work faster, which is the fourth idea. Helps the environment and the voice unnecessary current trees, uh, which is the second idea. And also I had my, I have defended my idea. So, and so now we have a draft. That is a brave writing that I had put all the ideas I had defended, but sometimes uh, over here I had some mistake that I had to correct it later when I am editing the paragraph and making a good structure of all the draft. And finally, we create an outline where an outline shows the structure of your essay. So that's mean that in your outline, it's going to be your introduction and in a, in a little uh, definition about your topic. The reason one, the reason two, and it is perfect to have another reason three. And finally, we have the conclusion. Uh, something that is really important over here is the introduction has to be connected with the inclusion. Conclusion. Uh, that happens always. For example, when you are talking with someone, you say, hi, hello, good morning. But at the end, of the discussion, uh, you say bye, goodbye, have a good night, etc. That happens with the easy as well. The introduction explain about what the topic is going to be, and the conclusion is giving the opportunity to demonstrate that your introduction was true. Form from your point of view. And so now, uh, before the end 
of, of this class uh, to mount to the little quiz that I have prepared for you. Uh, I have any doubt, any question? It is important to have an order for have a writing. The order depends because uh, when I when I was uh, talking about free writing, the order it doesn't matter because you are writing everything that comes to your mind. The structure it doesn't matter. The spelling, the punctuation, the grammar. In that case, doesn't matter to, to have a, a order. But at the end, when you are preparing your final draft, when, when you are editing or when you are about to make public your, your topic, in that case, it is necessary uh, to have an order. So, so just at the end of the paragraph, uh, because uh, the readers don't want to read an article that that is not, uh, that doesn't have a good structure and all the ideas uh, doesn't have a sense. So that's my answer for you. I don't know if okay, it's okay. Thank you so much. Yes, it, it was clear. Thank you. Okay, I guess I don't have any other question. So, we will move on to the final part of this class. So give me one minute, please. Can you check the chat, please? I will post a link where you are going to do an, an a quiz online. It will be quickly. <laughs> I had already posted. Okay, I, I got the first person, Nelson, and let's wait for the others. Rosaline, okay, Leticia, okay, all is right. We will start. Okay, nice. Uh, all of you uh, have what was the answer. Thank you. So let's move to the next question. Leticia has the first place. Nice. Okay, 
Well, so just one person <laughs> have the <laughs> opportunity to select the correct answer because uh, you write whatever that comes in your head about your topic without stopping. This is called free writing. So the brainstorm was just the idea. And the outline just show the structure of your outline. That's the reason that brainstorm is not <laughs> the answer because it is just idea, the list of your idea. Let's move. Leticia, nice. Okay, very good. Uh, all of you have the correct answer. So let's move. The marcador doesn't change. Yes, and I'm proud of you guys. All of you most have selected the correct answer. So let's see the punctuation. Leticia has the first place. Let's move to the next question. Okay, for this case, uh, the readers hate and easy that it is confusing is our order because uh, before you your publication about your easy, so the readers it will be, will be so confusing for them to read and paragraph that doesn't have sense or a good structure. Okay, let's move. Okay, just as a feedback, the conclusion sentences tell us about the paragraph will be, is not. The sentences or the minute or the idea that is going to tell us about what the paragraph will be, it is the main idea or the introduction. Okay, let's, let's see the score. Rosalind Magali has the first place now, excellent. Let's continue. The final question. Very nice, guys. All of all of you, uh, I guess, has already understood about how this topic. The outline has to show the structure of the easel. That is really complete. And so, guys, um, let's see the scores. 
the first place we in the third place we had Leticia. Second place Nelson. And the first place and for this the, the student that had most of the answer correct was Rosalind Magali. Congratulations, Rosalind. And so uh, I can say that I had already complete my mission here. And so that was all for all guys. Thank you so much for being here in this class and um, bye bye. Bye. Bye, good night.